Welcome to uh, Soon to Be Legends. Uh, today on today's show, Gavin Good, artist extraordinaire, and How are um, you? who are who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, it's MC Clark. MC Clark. Nice. There yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, MC Clark. <laughs> and I'm your host, Byron Stagus. How are you doing? Uh, today we've got uh, Gavin Good on the episode. We are going to be talking about uh, the military, movies, and art. Perfect. That's what you're involved with. Yeah, perfect. Sounds great. It's good. This is a podcast. It's also a video cast, so you can watch it um, on YouTube, uh, Vimeo, Facebook. We have some Instagram stuff. We are going to be talking about art, which is the reason why I talk about that. You can hear this on the podcast, wherever you get podcast stuff. But if you're listening to the podcast, we're going to have uh, Instagram photos and Facebook photos up so that you can see the art that we're talking about if you're not actually watching the video. So uh, this is Soon to Be Legends, uh, powered by LDR Studios. And uh, Gavin Good, welcome. Thanks for having me, gentlemen. Appreciate you. Yeah, you bet. Uh, you started out in the military. So we're going to start talking about that first and then move through to what you do today. Perfect. All right. So military. Uh, former Marine MP. I uh, was in uh, uh, 94 to uh, 94, 5, 6, and 7. And um, uh, that was just sort of a different life. But Is it, it a bit of a blur? Uh, it's... It's a, it's a little strange to think about, like, what we're doing now as opposed to that. But it was great, you know. Um, it, it was really positive for me, changed me, changed my life. Um, free health care, uh, free uh, school, college, which is what I went to art okay. school with. But it was okay, great. So, that's, so, so it was the military that got you to go to art school? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And um, so uh, with your military experience, you were uh, stationed abroad, I guess? Yeah, I was in Albania okay. uh, in 95. It borders uh, on the Adriatic. I heard a song in the does. show Cheers. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't. It does. Uh, it looks a little different now than it did back then. But, um, yeah. So, so what did you do there at, what, when you were out? You, you was, said you were an MP. So yeah, it was a what, is, what does that involve? Uh, it was basically keeping security for um, the Navy was over there drilling for uh, the hospital, drilling to the, hosp the capital of Tehrani, Albania, didn't have running water, so really, we kept those boys safe while they um, and girls uh, while they um, got the well running. Wow! So yeah. that I mean, literally, no water in a hospital, or just no water in Correct. the capital? In the hospital. In the hospital. Mm -hmm. Now, was that as a result of war, or is that a result of just like oppression? Albania is really old. Oppression. Really oppression. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Any mm -hmm. anything like radically crazy happen? I mean, you have to. Arrest a bunch of people, or uh, you ever draw your weapon? It's not, moving not on the from art that. part where you right. draw your weapon. Right. Okay. But. Yeah. Um, no, it was just if anybody knows anything about that area in the mid '90s. Uh, it's a mess. I know it was. Yeah. It's yeah. a mess. Okay. Yeah. So you did that for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, you did it for just enough time to go on to uh, art school. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, full full ride uh, at the Academy of Design Technology in Tampa. And uh, use those, um, use that skill set to kind of do what we're doing now. Okay. That's so we'll, we'll get to that because sure. I'm a movie fan and you went from the military. Now, did you, you started in the movies as an actor? You started as a consultant? I know you did some consulting. Sure. Stuff. A little of both. Okay. Um, uh, the, my foot in the door was um, some consulting stuff. Uh, like I'd come and tell folks, hey, your uniform's wrong or the haircuts wrong or but then they started just putting me in the films okay. and then that just because you're so good looking it's like <laughs> yeah, your face is the money maker the lighting the yeah the, right. li the lighting was good uh-huh okay <laughs> <laughs> okay um and so uh, that kind of consulting like so uh, so you what kind of movies were you on were these little tiny movies were these movies we've heard of uh, no they were all big budget films um uh, name uh, name one two uh, three walk the line walk the line Triple so, X Part Two. Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, walk, walk the line had military consulting in it. The uh, the um, Folsom prison scenes all had oh, um, so prison like, guards, okay. and uh, we had to get them covered in the line, get their um, their belts, their gig line, their emblems, all of that. You had all. to get okay. So that's more like of the MP. That's more of the police end of it. The attention to detail, attention sure. To detail. Uniforms, okay. yeah. And yeah, then nice, they just nice. they get, made yes. me like. Three different roles. People yeah. put their hostess on backwards is part of the problem, right? <laughs> right. Well, they, you see, I heard, I heard a story that, that that happened. Yeah, where was that? A holster backwards? Yeah, that was on Triple uh, X Part Two. Triple X Part Two. Yeah. And which one? That was uh, that was uh, 
that was that wasn't with, Vin Diesel, right? No, was, that was with Ice Cube, Ice Cube? and uh, Sam ja- Samuel L. Jackson. So did you did you get to hang out with those guys? Or oh, yeah. Just, yeah, it's oh, like a yeah. real deal. Oh, for sure, yeah. They're, you got them on speed dial? We can I call them up right now? I do not. Oh, okay. um, no. I uh, taught Ice Cube how to search and frisk someone, and then Samuel L. Jackson kills me later in the movie. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it was fun. Right on. <laughs> yeah. I hate Clark. Did, uh, how did you, how'd you die? Did Samuel L. Jackson ever kill you? I've never been killed by Samuel. Oh Jackson. man, that's got to be kind of cool. I want to—I want him to kill me with a lightsaber, uh, but that's something else. So, uh, what did you? What were you asking, Clark? Oh, I just—how did how did he kill you? How did he kill you? He shot me. He shot you. Oh, yes. <laughs> what was? Were you like super overly dramatic, or you just like bang fall down? Uh, I, we should all go see the movie, right? Yeah, let's just all <laughs> download that. Hey, everyone, go get a ticket. No, it's a. Uh, I still get a, like a three dollar check from that movie. Do you really? Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Any other movies? Uh, let's see, uh, Walk the Line, Triple X, Siriana. Siriana. Uh, with Clooney. Yeah, with George Clooney. Yeah, Annapolis, Wild Hogs, Rocky Balboa. So Wild Hogs had, Siriana, I know, I was, was a military, they, they were overseas and that sort of stuff, right? I was so, a Del Fuego, I was a bad guy. Were you? Bad biker. Oh, so you were an actor, you weren't a... Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, most of these movies that I did the technical stuff with, they ma- they put me in the movie at some point. Okay. And Triple X, I was... Like the head of the SWAT guys coming in for a unit, and then they'd switch me out, and then I was head of the ninja uh, crew coming in. So they, so so that's like stunt work. Yeah, I was a stunt man and a bunch of things. I'd so you did consulting, stunt, and some acting. Yeah, uh huh. I just crazy it, cool. it all sort of blend. It's been 15 years, so I don't think about this stuff much. No, but I think that's. I mean, I like. I'm a movie guy, so that's that's sure. kind of like the thing. And I, I just thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, and that's what. So. With Wild Hogs, yeah, that was all stunt work because you can't just be an actor and get on a motorcycle. You have to be insured. Right. You sure. have to have your license. And, the, the, and you, you have to have a face they can wreck in case they want to move on to the movie. Too late. <laughs> yeah, until it's, it's too late. Yeah, so it's, did you have to like dump a bike or anything? Or you just no, ride around? No, just, just ride. Yeah. Uh-huh. You just rode the bike? Being in, a, being in a car is considered a stunt. Is um, it really? Yeah, being in a room with smoke, a smoky room is considered. Uh, uh, really? Yeah. yeah. Boy, they're soft, aren't they? <laughs> These actors are soft. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Are you doing anything uh, like that now? We uh, so I've been focusing on the art, the art stuff. We'll get business, to that here in a but second. yeah, there are there are a handful of things in the coming works. down the line. Nice. Yeah, uh, it's very humbling because I will not be uh, that same young, energetic guy. I kind of have to go for the dad or the neighbor or <laughs> something like that. But yeah, but. W- yeah, the the the. Uh, the the funny best friend, no? the Indy 500 movie. You guys, okay. so there's be looking we, for we, that. We before the show we were talking about that. There's a there's an Indy five mon- Indy 500 movie in the in the making here. Yeah, correct. Okay, yeah, it's gonna and be that's awesome. That's gonna be uh, done here in the Indianapolis area, which is appropriate, I think. Yep. Yeah, and you're gonna be involved with that. I hope so, but okay. yeah. I will. So you you said something acting. You doing stunts for them too? I have which, no like, idea. I don't know. He, he won't in, tell me. He's like not, standing in a smoky room. He won't. <laughs> a lot of hey, smoking that, back in that. Yeah, that I think I think Clark, that's a stunt for you, standing in a smoky room. <laughs> I mean, I'll help with the smoke. Right. Yeah, he'll oh he'll provide the smoke. Yes. That's a little <laughs> exhale. Great. Okay, that's cool. So you're gonna you still got your kind of. Uh, finger dabbled in that just sort of just just now started kind of circling back to that and did you live in LA while you were doing that sort of stuff no I was east coast so Baltimore DC like most of the films I did were were there Um, we filmed a few out there wild hogs was filmed out in LA but um so is that a function of having an agent like hey I got you a job you're gonna go ride a motorcycle go out to LA I'm a pretty good self-promoter so I didn't really get an agent till later in the game. Okay. But learning how to go to those interviews and talk to those folks really helped me now. So how do you even get that interview? It's half uh, luck and half, you know, being in the moment and right. knowing when and okay. where to be. So after the Elizabethtown, um, I was Orlando Bloom's body double, stunt double, photo double in a movie called Elizabethtown. Elizabethtown. And after they filmed that, I had my choice of five films to go and do. Really? Yeah, so I just did them all um, and just was like, all right, this is what we're doing now. (laughs) So literally you're like, oh, I have a choice of all five. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I will do all five. Went to Walk the Line, shot that, and then simultaneously did Siriana and Triple X in Baltimore. Now, Siriana, it takes place overseas. Did you do any of the work overseas? All all the stuff you did All in Baltimore. All in Baltimore? Okay. That's cool. Yeah. That's kind of great. Which one was your favorite to be a part of? Any of them? Well... They're 
fairly terrible movies. Um, <laughs> Rocky your, Bal- <laughs> nothing like promoting uh, your stuff, right, man. I mean, <laughs> um, wa- uh, Walk the Line is by far the best film. Yeah, it was a good one. Uh, the Rocky Balboa, where he gives the um, speech, is pretty awesome. Wait, you didn't even mention that one. Rocky Balboa? I don't know. Like Rocky? Gotta, yeah. You, you didn't bring in a list. I, I think he mentioned it. Did like, he mention sweet. it? Oh, okay. Mentioned. That's uh, that's my uh, short circuit. Okay. They they all have their they all have they all their, their bright they all the bright, bright spots, spots. Yeah. which is you you're the bright spot. Right? <laughs> it's like hey that's the back of my head. If if you put me in it it's probably not going to do well. <laughs> I don't know I really I don't know that's the way to promote yourself. You said you were a good self promoter. Oh man. right yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey if you want a movie that's as good as Walk the Line you got to put Gavin in it. Absolutely. Right? Even if yeah. it's just the back of his head. Mm-hmm. Right for <laughs> some sort of stunt. Yeah. And he's really good at stunts in smoky, standing in smoky rooms. Sure. Or riding a motorcycle. That's that's what we're doing now, yeah. <laughs> smoky rooms and motorcycles. Smoky rooms and motorcycles. Clark, you in? Yeah, I'm in. You're in I for mean, smoky I, rooms I, and I, motorcycles? I, I'm going to go pick up my first motorcycle here I'm in a couple I'm seriously blown away by standing in a smoky room is considered yeah. a stunt. It's considered hazard. It's dangerous. Oh, man. Well, I guess, I mean, even now with, like, the COVID thing, standing in a room with anybody is considered <laughs> just a Just you know, standing in a room. It's like, maybe we should just make movies with just stunt people. We don't have to worry about all the rules then. Yeah, and all those overpaid actors. You know? Yeah, but then all of a sudden, those guys would be overpaid, right? Uh, yeah, and they're doing everything in CGI now, so it's... They're not real actors. A lot less. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just some amalgamation of something. Who knows? Know. Who yeah, knows? that's good. All right, so I think we've run the course on that, sure. haven't we? All yeah. right. So what do you do, what do, you do now? Uh, oh, now, wait. I own a... Fine art and design company called Semperfly Studios. Semperfly. Yeah, a little play on words there. Nice. It's a good like one. It. Thank Very you. Um, and we uh, specialize in hand painting. Who's um, we? Well, just you, right? You're the artist. It, or do you have it, like it, no? You have like a I, I say it's. I say we, but yeah, I design it, paint it, ship it. But there are folks that help me fabricate things. There are okay. um, folks that get me nice gigs um so this is bigger than just hey i i got uh, an easel in my garage uh, sure yeah there's folks that run my galleries okay. different galleries so and there's... semper semper fly mm-hmm. semper fly studio semper fly yeah you can see it on instagram see all his stuff so you guys just a reminder super cool out. stuff by it is mind. super Thank cool you. stuff but there's something fairly unique about what you do <clears throat> as far as your art it's it's hand painted on steel on Gen- steel yeah generally it's either airbrushed or folks don't paint on steel at all. Right. Just because the materials right. and it takes forever. So I, I keep it very traditional. Um, and wait, it gives wait, wait, wait. You said keep it traditional, mm-hmm. except you paint things on steel. That's not traditional at all. Well, so- if you go back to like the old race cars right. or go back to the sign makers, okay. uh, lettering guys, right. it's the same the same principle. So that same style, like that same technique of Just stuff I that you do. Freehand it right on the piece of steel. Um, no stencils. Okay. No airbrush. Um, right. Using so the same. from that place is pretty traditional. Yeah. But from the fact that you are selling high end. Now this is high end mm-hmm. art now, Correct. right? Yes, sir. I mean, it's it's. I mean, we've seen your stuff. We're gonna we're gonna look at some of it here. But I mean, this is high end stuff, and you're painting it on steel. So anyone who wants to hang this on their wall better get some really sturdy mounts and make sure you find the studs. Sure, yeah, I, I make the mounts, too. Oh, do you? Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. good. Are, are, they, are those mounts? extra? I throw those in there. No, I just throw them in. <laughs> you throw them in? Like, yeah. There you go. Um, the way that it's wrapped and welded and hemmed, it's pretty easy to hang. Is it? Um, yeah, and they hang them in all sorts of places. Okay, so there are physical places that we can actually see that other other than places that people have Absolutely. bought their art and hanging in their houses. You have some galleries of yeah. stuff hanging somewhere. We have a, a gallery at the Waldorf. Down at uh, Universal Studios, it's doing really well. Okay. Um, and there's and is it all your art down there? No, there are three other artists. And is that a Semperfly gallery, or is it just a gallery with your stuff in it? The you... the detachment is my gallery. Okay, so you own a gallery. You have other artists in there with you, and your stuff is there. And it, Correct. You know, we at have... Universal Studios. It's down. It's They call it the Waldorf Universal. It's okay. in that area. Uh, Orlando. Okay. Um, and then we have, I have a gallery here in Carmel. Okay. Um, that's, um, that's solely my gallery and I have five artists working for me in there. Uh, and that's, that's doing really well too. It's, um, that's Carmel, Indiana for those who are, uh, elsewhere. Right. Uh, in the United States. Uh, yeah. 
northeast so, okay. Indianapolis area. Um, and uh, so that's yeah, that's two studios. Where together. is that located? Is that the Bar Louie location? Yeah, the Bar Louie. It's uh, two floors. Um, okay, so Bar Louie is where the gallery is? Uh, yes. Cool. Yeah, uh, a lot of high traffic. And, you know, if you can get people drinking, they tend to open their wallets a little faster. Yeah, I think casinos so that, figured that out, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Free, free drinks. All right, open up our wallets. So that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're trying to get Denver open uh, just – Dropped a piece off in Las Vegas. In Las uh, Vegas. Yeah. So we're, we'll, we'll talk about that story, sure. right? So sure. that's cool. So that's pretty good. So we're I, we so for 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 the camera here, we're gonna for those who can see it, we're gonna put these uh, back up on uh, Instagram and, and Facebook and that sort of stuff. That's we're sure gonna start looking out. at some of this art. You can tell us a little bit about this. So the first one here, we've got. It's a. Uh, I'll, I'll basically describe it for those listening. It's uh, you're standing next to a big piece of steel with a, a art. Of a guy welding. Yeah, we did that for. Um, I did that for um, uh, the Welder to Warriors program. We took it uh, took it down to um, West Palm Beach uh, to a convention. Uh, sold it at their charity. I think it went for like thirty five grand. Thirty five grand, nice. Um, and it's uh, it's a big old piece of steel. Yeah, huh? seven foot by four and a half. I think. Wow, that's that's cool. And then I gave them. I sold my pants and my welding helmet too and donated that to the charity <laughs> uh, for, Here, for those of you uh, his, his pants have uh, um, some splatter and so does the welding helmet <laughs> right. he didn't just take his just, pants off not just, just so jeans, you know yeah so so for people just listening it's <laughs> not you are not bottomless i mean how do you decide the colors you're going to use um well well this one has a, a warrior thing so it's got a yeah, American, American yeah. flag on the welding helmet yeah and then i knew i wanted to do the uh, pixelated cami and uh, uh, camouflage because of the the folks that are coming out now right um as far as coloring goes i'm i'm f- i just do it you um, just do it yeah i know i get the black on and the white on and then we just sort of figure it out right. from there that's good so so you when you when you paint when you do this work you uh you start with black and white yeah and just rough it out just so i got an okay. image i can look at and We've had, I've had a conversation with you before about uh, some of this stuff, which was kind of cool. But what is the limiting factor as to how long how long it takes to make a piece like this? Uh, the budget. Uh, the budget. Yeah. So I know what it takes. I just I meant from a, like a time stamp, or oh, even the budget is is in sure. Time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know what me going all out costs per square foot. Uh, just for anyone listening, they're mowing the grass outside. <laughs> just in case anyone's wondering what just happened there. Right. Super, super professional. Here we are. Yes. So, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. So, um, I, I, I kind of have a square foot idea. Um, but, again, if it's just something quick and, you know, black and right. white and doesn't take a thousand colors and doesn't right. take – like that piece probably took a couple hundred hours. Okay. Um, Jeez. Mm-hmm. So wow. it, it's it if I can have an assembly line of pieces going at okay. once it it it's beneficial. So so are those all people uh, purchase them in advance as assembly line of art or is this something like um, you have an idea about oh I want to make uh, five of these types of things and then these other commission pieces I'll work in the mix of it or is it a little bit of both or yeah what's it's sort of that process. It's both. So um, if I'm doing a gallery okay. I'll crank out maybe five musicians or or five movie posters okay. and then we'll turn those into prints uh, and do limited series of okay. those we actually have one of prints but you meant print the prints of I'm prints kidding, like, yeah right I, <laughs> not purple haze all it. the time no not, not purple how do you haze. Ge- how do you so generally number like you do limited edition i do right? limited, limited editions. editions yeah uh-huh and um, then the, so so these these steel pieces are one of a kind they're one yeah one right off. those are all one offs yep and then I think what Clark you're referencing to the prints will then be limited series, mm-hmm. so that those will be on paper or canvas. They're on a uh, textured archival paper okay. um, that uh, doesn't fade. Uh, it's really nice. I've been using the same company for a while. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Here, I'm going to grab another one of these. One of one of these. Oh, here's a steel piece. Yeah, that's actually uh, everything in that that skull there is made up of weapons. You can. Pistols and rifles. That was for. Okay, so uh, there's this just for those uh, listening. It's yeah. a, a big piece of steel, and it's got a skull-looking object made up, uh, like you said, mm. of weapons. So yep. bullets and it's, knives. It's and backlit. Guns. Changes colors with remote. It's backlit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's that, a, another. There's piece a purple of... glow around this skull. Yep. And so 
is that two pieces then? Yes, two sir. Two pieces of steel? Two okay. pieces of steel. Two pieces of steel that's backlit. And who's the guy in the photo? He looks like that's Jack. That's a young guy. <laughs> yeah. That guy's jacked. Yeah, that didn't look like I was having a good day there. Uh, well, you have to have haul steel around, man. Sure. Uh, yeah. We got folks for that now. <laughs> <laughs> this is before you had people helping out. Yeah, right. Right? So yeah. the lighting, you use LED lights? So yeah, I wrap cool. it up, pre-drill it, and then um, now what we're doing with the music thing that we have them where they'll strobe to the music. Oh, really? Change so, with the so music. With, you'll do, you're doing pieces of pictures of musicians, and, and that, that'll strobe to the music when you play. Yes, sir. Only their music or any music? Any music you kidding, want. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I can only listen to the doors. because it's uh, Anyway, so that's kind of cool. All right, so what's uh, we're looking at? Uh, same same principle. Yeah, that's, um, that's a sick five-foot piece of steel. With uh, another piece of steel of her on top, we wrap them in LEDs. Uh, there's and a, that so that has sort of like a broken glass look to the back of that. That's is the that epoxy. Sick? Oh yeah. Yeah, we put a lot of um, like boat resin on these things. It it doesn't yellow, and right. we can mix them. Wow, I've like I have no concept of how all that works. That's so cool. And then you it's, got black light on there as black well. Light on there. And then some cool hip dude, as opposed to the angry yeah. guy from earlier. Right. Yeah, you look guy's, way more chill there. That's a little more relaxed. <laughs> this guy's a little more chill. Well, you're inside and probably this had guy, a couple cocktails. Uh, yeah, this guy's looking like uh, he just finished his latte, and now he's going <laughs> to go get himself a, a whiskey. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and so I, so I have five different print versions of that, a purple, a blue, a green, a yellow, and we do just 20. So – so the print versions you change you change some of the mm -hmm. colors so that they're kind of a unique. Yeah, and some it's folks want blue, some folks want red. Oh, that's kind of cool. And mm -hmm. so what what what's different though? The lighting glow around it, or I do a lot of uh, editing on Photoshop. Like Photoshop and, stuff. Yeah, okay, we, so we it, really... it looks literally you can literally have one piece of steel art, and then the people that get the print can get something that looks almost completely different. Correct. Although it's the same basic. Yep, that's, that's a really cool piece. That's kind of cool. Thank you. Thank you. That is a cool piece. Uh, now, did you is this sold? Yeah. Is this sold? Yep, All right, it's cool. sold. And this is high-end art, folks, so uh, <laughs> this is not... Uh, I, I, I definitely go after a certain group of buyers. Sure. Um, and I, I kind of know... Well, I mean, I mean, look, where it, to hit. you're talking about hundreds of hours to do this stuff. Mm -hmm. We're talking about art that's based on steel. I mean, you're not going to sell this for $100. Right. Right? I mean, so, I mean, that makes some sense. You're putting in the work for it, and obviously it's it's impressive stuff. I mean, that's, Thank you. that's super cool. I take it how, serious. How, how do you, long I mean, do these ideas sit in your head before you actually it's, execute something? Um, like, how many of those do you have in your head right now that – you haven't started a lot. Yeah. You said something yeah. about movie posters. Is that is that a run of stuff that you've that's, done as well? That's what I'm. We don't have those here. No, nah, that's what I'm trying to start that's here. The next one? Now that okay. we've got the music series up and running, cool. I think the vintage so movie this is, posters. So this is this is a this like is a pop culture pop we, culture yeah. stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. that's cool. Yeah, that. And yeah, no, that's I, this is fabulous stuff. There's a Terminator shot, right? Of yeah, the big eight foot metallic, Terminator. Eight foot Terminator. We shot it full now of bullet that, holes. Right. The t oh, you shot that? Yeah, full it's of it's rich. Yeah, we riddled it. Was that after you painted it? <laughs> yeah, that was after we painted the background. Oh the, damn! The big the Terminator is another whole piece of steel on there, so he's like. Oh, five so you and cut and that out? Cell. Yeah. Fabricate so that out, mm -hmm. and then and then that's laid it on so the background. Cool. It's backlit again with the purple light there. Yes. Right, and so, so the Terminator. We're talking about the metal machine, not the guy sitting in front of it. Not that that. That's. Uh, I, was, I should smile more. Guy, yeah, <laughs> you should smile more. No, uh -huh. that's good. We're good. Okay, that's pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Right? So we're doing the lighting. You'll see here in a little bit. Okay. We're, we're, we've changed. You've we've up, you've, from backlight to okay. the, to a different paint. That okay. So let's get difference. through here. What do we got? We're that's looking a, at. Uh, so that's Val Kilmer. That's perfect. That's Val Kilmer. It's and, uh, not Val Kilmer. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, that's Jim Morrison. That's Jim. Val Kilmer played Jim Morrison in the Doors movie. That is a joke. I, did, I made sure not to watch the movie so I wouldn't be uh, influenced and accidentally start. Oh, okay. So I didn't Doing watch Val it Kilmer. until after. Yeah, after. <laughs> after. So here's my question. So this is this is like, that's I mean that's a really good representation of what he looks like. Do you, is this based off a photo that you've seen? Yeah. Do you, do you uh, or does this come like an amalgamation of stuff that I've? I, I have? I'll grab as much research and imagery that I can, and uh, sometimes I'll put different hair on different head on different body. Okay. Um, 
So, but so that's, you literally aren't stealing. You, you're not stealing. That's a bad. That's a bad. You're, you're not like this, going off of one photo. If you're, I do something like this, okay. like a one-off, right? It's considered fan art, right? Um, but if like I started a company, the Doors Company, right. uh, Then that's where you kind of get into murky water. Oh yeah, oh, I wasn't worried about the yeah, no. stuff. That's because I think from for some of this stuff, you have lawyers, right? Yeah, there's a guy. If I need a copyright for something, right. uh, there's a guy that can get that for me. And if there's you know a question that I need to ask, there's another gentleman that right. I can talk to. So it's because because you get approval from some of these uh, dead rock stars, right, from their estates, uh, right? Some of them. Eh. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Like, Yes. It'd be Fair it'd be great if Ozzy sent me a letter telling me to see some. See, oh, that would be amazing. That would be great. Yeah, that'd be no, great. No, what you really want? I think you got it because I've seen a preview for the movie or what? How, uh, is you got to get Nick Cage a picture mm. of Nick Cage and then have Nick Cage buy it for an exorbitant amount. Where would I start? I don't know. Does he have dude. any money now? I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he might have some now. So, so so we're in our we're in the music phase. So yeah, you would, you did a run of musicians. I did, right? so and that was this is where we switched with having them backlit. So okay. now I use an iridescent and a glow in the dark pigment in so my paints. And this is David Bowie. This is those. Bowie. Oh, that's so those cool. Um, and so now and they is, change color in lights, so cool. they don't. It doesn't have a its own light source. That's just what it looks like if you shine a light on it. So if you shine a light on it, that's what it looks like. Yeah. And yep. that's like that. It's like that paint glows. It's almost like. But is that that doesn't have to be black light, does it? No. Mm -mm. Really? No. It, it. Whatever different light source you put on will give it a different look. So it just all depends on what you. You're like you a hanging. mad scientist, man. That's cool. <laughs> and and is that is that like okay? So you went to art school. Is this what you did at art school? No, I floundered. Uh, you floundered. In art school, yeah. Okay. Uh, trying to figure out which direction to take things. So what, I mean, what brought you to this? And then how do you use that art school stuff to come up with like, I don't know, glowing paint? Um, I mean, is that radioactive? Or trial anything? and error. Uh, okay. You're not supposed to touch this oil stuff too much. Um, but uh, I, I had a company, a pigment company, sponsor me. Oh, cool. And it's, there's like a thousand different colors. So I s sat out there. So and is that like them. free paint for you? Or? It's, it's free color. Free color. Yeah, so if I mix it in with a clear, okay. then I can make any of those. Like, all of that is clear paint before I got a hold of it. Really? Mm hmm So you're literally, Except like, mixing your own palette of stuff for this. Yeah, they're, it's my colors. David Bowie doing a karate block. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you cannot get those colors anywhere else because I made them. That's incredible. Okay, so that's, again, why this is high-end art. Sure. This is why this is tens of thousands of dollars to buy your pieces of art. Unless we're we're friends, you're gonna do something for sure. me. Sure, right? yeah. <laughs> a small piece, like small, on a toaster. Just a small piece, yeah. yeah oh. Paint my toaster. That. <laughs> that's good, Clark. I like it. Excuse I like me. it. I like it. Oh, that's a little tiny one. Yeah, uh, same. Bigger. Same. Um, Here's Ozzy. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same deal. Same uh, deal with that mm -hmm. that art. That's that same kind of paint, and there is yeah. what it looks like in a different light. Yeah, exactly. So, for yeah. those who uh, are aren't seeing this, there's two different. Uh, it looks like it's kind of blinking when I switch. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. And that's this. It's the same ink. It's just a different light source. One right. One like Correct. daylight. One Correct. In fluorescent or something. Yep. So that's pretty yep. cool. Uh, there's a big, wrong. big uh, seven or eight footer uh, we did for a lady. But um, oh, so you this was commissioned. Uh, yeah, that one was an actual commission. Um, I like that. Thank that's you. That's cool. Def definitely. We, we did a whole different <clears throat> feel on this one. I sort of want to go a little bit anime. Okay. Um, and for the, cl for the client um, and just tried to. So did the client ask for a, a different look or is that you, you just kind of had a feeling like this would kind of look cool here? I just thought it would be a good twist on the client's needs. Okay. Yeah. That's and that awesome. was at the event at Bar Louis. That was at the opening of yeah. Bar Louis. So at the opening of Bar Louis. Now, did you paint this while you were there? I uh, painted the, I did the cool stuff. So basically, I'll, I'll do a lot of charity work okay. and a lot of live events. Okay. And some folks will paint the whole thing there. Right. But what I found is if I can get started and just do the cool stuff and, you know, meet and greet the folks. Um, so what's the cool stuff? Well, so like uh, you can see all those neons down right. there. Right, okay. So like I put the the color on that's, as it, it's, it's. Reflecting so do, as you're standing there. So you'll do almost a, uh, a a sort of a black and white sketch kind of deal, and 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 get what fifty percent of this thing done, and then bring it to the event. It did various, yeah, but I'll I'll get it to where it looks cool before I get there. Okay. Uh, that's okay. So, 
So that uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, I actually I like the fact that you got a little uh, representation of the uh, Marine Corps. In there. And he was really wearing that shirt. Was he really? Yeah, nice. I didn't have to change. They they're all they all have uh, military emblems all over their uniforms. That's cool. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great shot. And Thanks. so you were able to then finish that up alive. Yep. And clearly, while drinking, looks and, like champagne. Uh, right. Yeah, I, I went to the bar and packed 12 beers and a bottle of champagne in a cooler and said, I'll <laughs> see you all in a few hours. <laughs> I definitely want a print of this one. Yeah, cool. Ho- cool. Hopefully you can get the first one. because we. Oh, you we, haven't printed this no, one yet? No, that one and Amy Winehouse is still, we haven't okay. made the prints for we, yet. We, we don't have Amy Winehouse here. Uh, I mean, a picture of her. Right. We don't have Amy Winehouse here either, but that's a whole different so story. So I, I kind of got a question, like, because there's a G clay in an embellishment kind of thing. And mm-hmm. do you do any of that after you do the prints? There are different ways to do prints. Okay. So G clay is just a, a way of printing. Okay. Uh, mine are cold press. Okay. So it's just a different, but after one, after one's printed, you can either do a limited series signed one through 10, right. or you can do an embellished series okay. where you actually paint on there. So each print would then have you do additional yes. art on top of it to make it more unique. It, ma- it gives it more of that personal that the artist actually held this so, in their hand. So yeah, instead of having instead of having like oh here's ten or a hundred of these and they're all prints exactly the same. Yeah. And it, the the value of that is it's this is number one of a hundred versus fifty nine of a hundred. Sure. The difference would be each of these would have have almost my personal it, paint on it. Your personal paint, and they would be different. They would be more unique that way. Right? Sure, they would be their own separate, right. their like, own separate so series. So I think you talked about that's one of the ways to do, you can make it a different color. Sure. Right, you can add different highlights. And that's, that's awesome. Absolutely. We do the frames too now. So you do paint frames? on the frames if they order a frame, yeah. Really? Why that's not? cool. But uh, just for everybody to know, I, th- I think uh, <laughs> <laughs> the weed whacker's coming by now as the air blowing. <laughs> this is uh, yeah. super high-end uh, professional work we're doing awesome. here. Awesome. It's the real fun. world. It is the real world, but uh, that's all right. We're going to... Uh, continue through that that's hilarious <laughs> hey uh from an art standpoint i think the grass outside is going to look fantastic sure all over my truck It'll be great. <laughs> it's going to be good so um so here's another uh shot Big yeah smells. yeah so that's that gives you an idea on like how bright those colors will get wow that's crazy uh, oh and so this and is, you painted your shoes yeah i use the leftovers now on my shoes or shoes. other people's shoes or adidas yeah. mm-hmm you sponsored by Adidas? Uh, I uh, sure. Okay. Um, you I just, you rep the brand intentionally. Yes. How many pairs of Adidas do you have? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> All the pairs. <laughs> so are you a shoe? You're like a, a shoe collector guy. Uh, yeah, but I I keep them clean. I can't afford to buy a bunch, but the ones I do have, I keep like, real so clean. Do you have like a closet just for your shoes? No. 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 No, you're not that. You're not that deep. No, uh, not you're not yet. that high end yet. I got a closet okay. for my work clothes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're I got all that. Splattered with paint. Mm-hmm. And then when they when they're just absolutely the worst, you sell them off. They become rags. They become. Oh, do they? Yeah. You do that? I turn them right into right. my rags. So then the stuff like when you uh, sold your pants, they the, those weren't like multi-use. Yeah. No, I get I get jobs for hats or shoes or pants or. Um, laptops from time to time and um, those just little jobs you're like how long is it how long does it take you a I'll laptop just well for a day? it depends what they want okay um but i'll throw it in the rotation so uh-huh. it's That's not cool. taking anybody any extra time so with this photo here we were talking about the different color yeah um, different color paints what it looks like in different lights mm-hmm. right we got that would be daylight that would be daylight. With just the sun on it that's just the regular sun mm-hmm. and then this version would be with alternate light source. Alternate light source. Does that just mean incandescent, fluorescent? Uh, so they, uh, if you can, it it changes colors per per light. Okay. So s- some of these actually, I'll send a light source with them. Um, okay. So they can mount it from across the room, and, and, and so, so they can have it look like this in daylight, and then boom, here comes a light source, and then it looks yep. like cooler and sure. Chill. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you got yeah you're taking care of all the pieces here. So Try so yeah so somebody gets a piece of art from you right it's high end art you're you're we good. get pretty intimate yes. um, with the client That's like good. I just find I mean, out with the it. mounts and the lights and the sure. colors yeah they're, and you're, they're probably going to know where they're going to place this thing in their house and we get the measurements and, and all oh, that first. Right. yeah mm-hmm. that's real customers that self-promotion <laughs> customer service stuff thank you there you go I'll take it serious Sempra fly that's cool all right so I've got a photo next so I just flip through it real quick this is what am I looking at uh, that's a piece we did for the I did uh, 
for the Avila brothers, because I, I actually rolled that up and flew it out to Vegas. Okay, so this is not on a piece of steel. No, this is on a canvas. I had so like so here, here's here's the photo of it. Sure, there it is. Yeah, I had a, like a three day notice to get this done. Um, so I knew I couldn't ship the steel out to Vegas. So I grabbed a canvas, and that black, that brown splatter in the back is my cup, my my pot of coffee. Your pot of coffee. Yeah, I just is dumped that it on, on, it. on purpose. Uh, yeah, I had to get. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, folders. I didn't know how to get it right. Sponsored. <laughs> I didn't know how to get it started, so I just dumped dumped that on there. So was that was that inspiration or frustration? Just or like, hey, get something on there. Get something Exciting. on there. Yeah, it's time to get go. it going. So 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 of all of the uh, the paint and pigment mediums, you have also dived into coffee as well. I've used so many things from the from the refrigerator really a one yes a one i've used a one mustard yes i've diluted that when i've ran out of things so is that when you just run out of stuff yeah you're like i'm gonna go in the I fridge need some yellow. The, the funny <laughs> ketchup on this thing <laughs> the funny part is it still smelled like coffee when he had it when i unrolled ready. it they yeah. were like they, that, you could still smell the paint that's hilarious mm -hmm. and so this is uh, so the avila brothers produced a new song uh okay. with um snoop dogg and uh billy ray cyrus uh mixed by dj quick it just came out. The video just came out a couple of days ago called Hard Working Man. Check it out. It's awesome. That's cool. Um, but and, uh, I, and this is the cover art for that single release, yeah? That's uh, This is affiliated with that song. Okay. Uh, I, I think, Not with the album. But yeah, the I think the album's going to showcase a bunch of different okay. artists. That's cool. Um, but uh, this is the second time, the first piece I did for these folks was uh, for Usher okay. uh, for his residency I, I think it's Vegas. pronounced Usher. Ursh for Usher, Usher and Lil John. Um, yeah. And Victrola Records. Uh, okay. So they, this is my second time second doing for something them. for these and, guys. And yeah. was that piece also on canvas as well? No, that was a big steel that piece. That was a big steel piece. All yeah, right. and it was also at the... But you had three days to do this piece. Yep. And uh, why did why was it so quick? Because they were releasing... I didn't get the... I, no one told me Nobody that told they... You? Yeah, that this was a possibility until really? like the last and so minute. so you whipped this out in three days. Whipped it out, hopped on a plane. You're like, ah, I got to get a pot of coffee and make this in three sure. days. And then you're like, ah, screw it. I'm going to throw Freak it on the... Freak out mode. <laughs> yeah. throw it on the thing. We just... <laughs> All right, that's cool. And then you had to go to Vegas. Yep. And you went to Vegas, and this is a shot of you at Vegas. Yeah, that was at the uh, Twyla True Jewelry... Um, new uh grand opening at uh resort world las vegas and those are some of the folks uh from the uh friends and family event friends and family yeah it was so you're amazing. hanging out with uh snoop dogg's friends and family it was amazing and the record labels friends mm -hmm. and families yeah yeah so that was a whole a whole event you were there for the whole weekend yep okay yep. got to see you got to get the premiere of the song okay um, at uh, the the Dolby Theater with the president. It was just it what was president? President Adobe. Oh, President Adobe. Yeah, not of the United States. No, because then we have a different problem. <laughs> We're concerned. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, awesome. That's so cool. Thank you. Do you have any else coming up, like uh, that kind of event thing? Or yeah, uh, I have I have a couple things in the work, but I don't want to jinx them. <laughs> yeah, so I'll sit on them until. But uh, yeah, um, I plan on working with these folks a lot here in the future. Well, that's uh, it's that, that same that same group is what you plan on. Yeah, I'd with? love to like, get on with their uh, charity and um, you know start raising some money. So, from a charity thing, do you get hired to do the charity work? Then it just depends on what their what they want to do. Okay. So, if somebody wants to fly me out and put me up, okay, that's cool. If they don't and they want to give me a cut of what the piece sells for, okay. that's cool. Um, it just it's and so you so we're talking about you f making a piece and then it going up for auction for charity or are we talking about you like going to an event and actually doing one of these painting lives sure, well, both yeah really? we do both okay. yeah if they want to if they want to auction it off um raise a bunch of money for the uh whatever their benefit is so cool. is that is that your is that your focus right now or is that just one of the things that you think is kind of a cool deal because you like I, to raise money for charity? I just well, that's like a spare time thing. Okay. Um and it's the I treat it like a vacation. So we go okay. to the West Palm thing. Okay. And we do a big piece and they put us up in a resort and we sell it and you know, raise some money for charity and have some fun. Yeah, that that, that sounds miserable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, I got to go to Vegas and yeah, hang making out with friends Snoop in Dog. Vegas. Yeah, that's that's terrible. That's yeah. so awful. So, so that that's kind of cool. And then uh, you um, are also like, so you did this music series of, of these music artists that we saw, right? And you did that on your own, basically, or did somebody say, hey, I want to 
picture of that Jim was to Morrison. get the gallery started. Okay. Um, so, and I didn't know it was two years later I was going to be flying out and doing things for Usher. Okay. Or these folks here, I, I didn't know that was where it was going to go. Right. Uh, so we're still cranking them out, but now we're gonna we're gonna branch out to that um, that. Vintage movie poster feel. Vintage movie, so not just regular movie. Vintage movie posters. Sure. So you're talking about doing vintage movie posters, and that's something that these are not commission pieces. You're just going to kind of do I'm a limited do series them out of, of these. Pocket, yeah. yeah, do them out of pocket, and then and then sell those on my spare time. Right, yeah. and then in the meantime, you're going to do some of these charity events where you'll you'll do a piece however they want it. Sure. And then, um, and then when you know the next band drops uh, or next uh, album drops for somebody else, you're going to do their event. Yeah, That's as long the as plan. you go to Hollywood. Yeah, so this, yeah. you got a whole thing going. This we, thing's rolling, right? It could be Shreveport, Louisiana, um, Warrior Horse Foundation, or it could be Portland or okay. Vegas. It's just you never know. Semper Fly is flying, huh? Fun stuff. That's good stuff, man. Thank you. That's great. And uh, and on top of that, you're still talking about being in a movie, right? That 500 movie we just talked about. Sure, yeah. He won't tell me what. You won't tell you. What <laughs> he you're won't doing. tell me what I'm doing. He's but, gonna have uh, you stand in a smoky room. We talked um, about that. Right, sure. Right? Hey, all and those then, stunts. And then and then and then maybe maybe I'm telling you, put some of your art in that film. See what? So, yeah. Somebody's got a piece of art in their background, or paint the car or something. Well, um, easy. The, uh, the, this particular movie's like. Uh, an early era. Early era. Mm-hmm. I believe it's uh, uh, about the first ever. Yeah. First running first of the Indy 500, Indy 500, yeah. Yeah, so anyway. So we'll, like we'll, we'll look Snoop, out for that. Snoop Dogg wasn't around back then. Snoop so. Dogg was. Ludacris will probably be in this film. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. that would be awesome. Luda! Yeah. yeah, he's nice. been a part of that for, he's been attached with this for the well, whole time. Cool. So. We'll, have to, we'll have to bring you and, and that crew back here sure. soon to, to talk about that because that's kind of cool. For sure. So Semper Fly is doing really well. Semper Fly Studios, you can see on Instagram. Is that the best way to kind of take a look at that? Yes, sir. All right. Any other any other uh, place you want to rep your product or uh, how to get a hold of you if somebody wants to commission a piece? Uh, Semperfly Studios, Gavin Good. Okay. Uh, you can pretty much find Gavin me Good on. has an E at the end. Gavin Good has an E at the end. G O D E. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty easy to find. So okay. just That's type good. that in. Gavin Good, right? Perfect. Got, uh, Gavin Lindsay Good, if it's on IMDb, right? Check out your stuff. <laughs> yeah. we talked about that That's before. a shout to my. I had to. So what he's talking about is I had to embellish my name when I was doing the acting stuff because there was somebody else's name pretty close to mine right. who already had that. But you wanted to separate that out. So now, that, is that, you said embellish your name. Yeah, is that's that, Lindsay is my mother's name. Okay, but that's not your actual middle name? My middle name's Lynn. Lynn, okay. So all I had to do was throw Lindsay. that in there. All right. and, well, that's all right. Mom's. My middle name's David. Nobody cares. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Change Lindsay. <laughs> all right, Gavin, this is kind of cool, man. Yeah, it so, was fun. Semper, Semper Fly Studios on Instagram. This is soon to be Legends. It's a podcast. It's a vidcast. You can uh, catch it at all your things. Uh, Gavin's good to have you. I really and appreciate you guys having me. Yeah, Thank it was you. Good. Yeah, it's a good time, man. Oh yes, sir. Thanks. All right, all right Clark. Thank you. We'll talk to you later.